Whether you just crushed some big fall races or you just wanted to maintain your fitness throughout the year, you might be thinking about taking it a little bit more easy this time of year since temperatures are dropping, but is this exactly what you should be doing? Hey, what's up runners? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about something often overlooked, but essential, your off season training. If you wanna hit the ground running next year, stronger, faster, and injury free, then keep watching. First things first, pushing full throttle all year isn't sustainable. It can lead to burnout, overuse injuries, or even worse performance during race season. If you operate at full capacity year round, you'll eventually burn out because your body never has proper time to recover. The off season is actually your time to detrain. No structured running plans, no interval sessions at threshold pace, just enjoying yourself doing probably still running but less intense and this sounds pretty okay right now like i just mentioned this doesn't mean that you should stop running completely this can be a zone two training at a nice easy pace where you're not really pushing yourself but this could also mean biking swimming doing plenty of other activities just for the fun of it and you still maintain that base fitness. So why should you back off? Well, the benefits are huge and we'll start with injury prevention. Taking some time off lets your body prevent those overuse injuries. From all that hard and intense training, you may have some built up fatigue or some hormonal imbalances that your body just needs some time to figure out. Running hard raises your cortisol and lowers testosterone, both of which can lead to muscle breakdown and increased injury risk. The off season gives your body a chance to reset. But how long should you take off? Well, it depends on your recent races. After every big event, especially longer distances like a marathon or even longer, you should at least take a few days off. If there are shorter races, you can cut the time down a little bit. But if you've just finished your racing season, then it's wise to cut back on your running completely for some time. Now, what exactly should you be doing in your off season? Cross training is a game changer here. If you want to jump in the pool, hop on a bike, jump into a canoe, whatever you enjoy, just do plenty of that. But there is one thing that is non-negotiable in your off season, at least in my book, and that is strength training. Use the off season to build up areas of weakness, prevent imbalances and keep your muscles and tendons strong. Aim for at least two strength training sessions per week. And maybe also don't forget some added mobility work to keep that body mobile and fresh for the upcoming season. This is also the perfect time to refocus on sleep, excellent recovery and just overhaul a good healthy body. And here is one last thing. If you have just done your off season and you're ready to ramp up that mileage again, be careful on the first few weeks. Don't just start at the intensity or the mileage you were doing before the off season, build back up gradually. You'll prevent injuries and you'll give your body time to ease into that full training schedule. Remember that this period of rest is what is going to make you stronger in the months ahead. So there you have it. The off season is a vital part of your running journey where you want to fully optimize this period to get your body ready for next year. If done correctly, you can enjoy a vital, strong and injury free year. Thank you for watching guys. If you didn't get the memo yet, get your ass to the gym and start some strength training. As always, if you enjoyed this video, then hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Happy running, bye.